Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to show you how to fix this nasty end of rope that got busted there. You will need a cutter, electric tape, I use some scissors, a lighter and a cutting board. So I start by cutting about four inches of electric tape with the scissors to make a perfect bit of tape and I will put it where my rope is perfect and I will leave maybe one eighth of an inch or a few millimeters more of nice rope and the rest I will cut it out. This tape I put it to keep things together when I'm cutting the end of the rope but also I will leave it there and I know that I might lose it sometime so I'm not relying on it but it's just nice to have tape that is a different color than your rope so in the coil it's easier to find your end of the rope. So take uh, maybe a new blade on the cutter, put your cutting board on the table, put your rope right there and start to cut. Be careful about the ends of your fingers, it cuts like butter because it's a new blade. And I try to make a clean cut as much as possible. So now that I cut it uh, really cleanly, it's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter, that will work. And what I will want is the heat of my lighter to go as deep inside the rope as possible. This is how I think about it without uh, burning too much the sides of the rope. But note that the tape uh, protects my rope a little bit from being burned there. So I don't care so much, but I want a really good burn in order to get a lot of metal melted rope to keep the core and the sheath together as long as possible while using the rope. So I tend to like to burn the rope like this and try to burn especially the center of the rope. Sometimes I will turn the rope a little bit to uh, burn the sides more evenly and now really fast uh, the sides get burned pretty much so I will not go much further and I will put some saliva on my fingers and push on the plastic that's being burned and I can do it twice but uh, already once is good enough and it will make a, a lot of melted plastic, melted nylon. Okay, that's good. Um, my end there will be uh, a little bit uh, of a hard bit. I don't make it too much like a mushroom, too big, too wide. But I don't want to make it super slim either. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit wide. The reason if the end gets uh, to be sliding, if I make a knot wrong, then this bit of plastic is the last chance for me to survive. I just see it like this. And I found that finishing my rope ends like this, if I need to, uh, work for a long time and I like it. I hope you like this video. Go see my website blissclimbing.com where there's top rope soloing and lead rope soloing online courses and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.